What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 20 tips and tricks and things that you might not know about the Apple Watch. Welcome back everyone, and I decided that instead of you guys having to stare at my face, I'd rather show you something that I'm sure you guys would rather see, and that is the Apple Watch. The video and images that you're going to see while the video progresses are all from coverage that I've done here on the channel. If you missed those videos, I will have them linked down below. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get into 20 tips and tricks and things that you might not know about the Apple Watch. And starting off with number one, we have power reserve mode. So if your Apple Watch's battery gets low, all you have to do is switch on power reserve mode and your watch will restrict to only displaying the time and nothing else. And your Apple Watch will last up to four hours. Next number two is you can purchase things using your Apple Watch without using Apple Pay. The way to accomplish this is through the use of QR codes. Thanks to Apple's Passbook app, you can easily add QR codes via your phone and use them on the Apple Watch. This is a great feature allowing you to make purchases on your Apple Watch at places that are yet to adopt Apple Pay. Next number three is watch bands can be worn and swapped across Apple Watch models of the same size. So any band can be used on your Apple Watch as long as it's a 38 millimeter band if you have a 38 millimeter watch or a 42 millimeter band if you have a 42 millimeter watch. Some of the bands have different colored pins which might look a little awkward with some combinations, but it's up to you. Next number four is you can't use your watch to start or stop calls on your iPhone. You can make calls on the Apple Watch itself and then hand them off to your iPhone to continue the call, but you can't for instance wear headphones connected to your phone then stick your phone in your pocket and use your watch to dial. However, this could easily be changed in a future software update. Next number five is other wireless chargers won't charge the Apple Watch. Wireless chargers such as the Key and A4WP don't charge the Apple Watch. You have to use Apple's magnetic inductive charging cable itself. Next number six is Siri is extremely useful for shortcuts throughout the Apple Watch's OS. By pressing and holding down the digital crown, you can activate Siri, then just say, hey Siri. From there, you can launch apps, place calls, dictate messages, or even find things that could normally be difficult to locate. Next, number seven is the ability to initiate prominent haptic. Some people may feel as though the haptic feedback provided natively by the Apple Watch isn't a strong enough vibration to be properly notified of notifications when using the Apple Watch and doing activities. However, Apple has included the option to initiate prominent haptic within the Apple Watch's sound and haptic settings. Next, number eight is the ability to take screenshots on the Apple Watch. Now if you press the digital crown and the friends button, which is the button directly beneath the digital crown, the screen will flash and whatever's on your Apple Watch's screen will be captured via a screenshot and saved on your iPhone's camera roll. Next number nine is the Apple Watch stores a backup on your iPhone. Now if you ever unpair or reformat your Apple Watch which wipes the data clean, you can easily restore it again using a local backup it makes to your iPhone. Now the watch then restores the settings and apps the way you had them previously. Number 10, you can pair an external Bluetooth health device to the Apple Watch such as an external Bluetooth heart rate monitor as an alternative to the onboard heart rate monitor which in return will lead to other Bluetooth related devices that will be able to work with the Apple Watch. Next number 11, you can use the charger to charge other devices. So far in all my tests, I've been able to get the Moto 360 to charge using Apple's inductive MagSafe charger, and I'm sure there's many other devices capable of being charged as well. Next number 12 is the Apple Watch is more water resistant than you think. Now there's been many water tests on YouTube, such as a shower test, a submersion test in a bucket for five minutes, and someone's even went swimming with it for 15 minutes, and surprisingly, the Apple Watch has stood up to all the tests mentioned. And one quick fun fact, the Apple Watch's touchscreen does not work underwater, However, the digital crown is still fully functional. Number 13, the Apple Watch has a secret blood oxygen monitor. Now, the folks over at iFixit did a teardown of the Apple Watch, revealing that the Apple Watch includes a sensor to measure blood oxygen levels. However, strangely, Apple doesn't advertise this feature, nor is the feature initiated on the watch. Next, number 14, is Apple will reportedly not be accepting any returns or replacements for the Apple Watch bands that show any signs of discoloration, deformation, scratches, or marks. Next, number 15, the Apple Watch Sport has a plastic inductive MagSafe charger. Apple's Apple Watch Sport included inductive MagSafe charger is made entirely of plastic, whereas both the Apple Watch and the Apple Watch Editions come with a metal lining. Next, number 16, the Apple Watch charges fast. The Apple Watch has a very small battery, whether you get the 38 or 42 millimeter size option, However, the 42 millimeter can go from 50% to 100% in just one hour. Next, number 17, the packaging differs depending on which model you get. There's three different Apple Watch models available, and there's also three different types of packaging. The Apple Watch Sport comes in a rectangular shaped box with the Apple Watch Sport laying flat within the box. 
The regular Apple Watch comes in a plastic square shaped box sitting in a circular formation within the box. The Apple Watch Edition comes in the nicest packaging of them all, coming in a premium box with leather lining that doubles as a charging dock. Next, number 18 is the ability to magnify text. In the iPhone app, there's an option to adjust the brightness and text size as well as an option to make all fonts more bold. However, after you make the changes, you'll be required to restart the device. Number 19 is the ability to bounce between your two most recent apps. The digital crown on the side of the watch is able to be clicked. If you quickly double click it, you can pop back and forth between the two apps that you use the most. And lastly, number 20 is cover to mute. If your watch starts ringing or chirping, you can instantly shut it off by placing your palm over the screen. This is a feature called Cover to Mute and can be located in the sound and haptic screen on the iPhone app. I'm giving away an Apple Watch and an Apple Watch Sport here on the channel. If you missed that video, I will have it linked down below. I'm also going to link a playlist to all the Apple Watch covers that I've done so far here on the channel. I hope this video helped you out in learning at least one tip or trick or thing that you did not know about the Apple Watch before you watched the video. The Apple Watch has an entirely new operating system and user interface that people still have a lot of questions about, so be sure to share this video with a friend. I hope you enjoyed looking at these video and images. I know it's a little different than what I usually do, but once again, I figured you'd rather see images and video of the Apple Watch than staring at me. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. Once again, be sure to enter the Apple Watch giveaway. It is international, and I will have it linked down below. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button and you will be notified in your inbox every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to drop a like down below and leave a comment down in the comment section. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron and I'll see you guys on the next one.